one of the windows on Gina's screen contains a list of Blair's personality disorders, as, which she cleverly hides in front of the Folly Ado uh, <laughs> Wikipedia article, which, of course, Blair's not going to think is about her. But yeah, so it's narcissism, sociopathy, bipolar one, bi bi bipolar two, and bipolar three, and schizophrenia is at the bottom of the list. So I think it's interesting that because the episode is so unusual, and because we're so not used to seeing this kind of stuff, and it introduced new terminology to the majority of the viewers, it results in you wanting to learn more about it. And I just think that's really cool when a TV show can do that. I don't want to get too far ahead, but morphic resonance was something I also looked up yep. because of, Same. of Blair's mention of it. And and that's also a really interesting concept. It's a little, little it's weird. It's a little hippy it's dippy. A little but... <laughs> <laughs> what does that cool. mean? What does that mean? Morphic resonance was a concept created by Alfred Rupert Sheldrake, an English author. And he said that the idea... Uh, of mysterious telepathy type interconnections between organisms and of collective memories within species. And he stated that it accounted for like phantom limbs, how like dogs know when their owners are coming home, which to me would be like they could hear it, but whatever. Um, and, then, <laughs> and then the other one that I thought was kind of cool is how you can feel someone staring at you, even if you're turned mm, away from them, which is yeah. kind of interesting. And that's not really like an explainable phenomenon. So uh, 